My name is Commander David Lewis. I was a research officer on board the USS Liberty at the time of the Israeli attack. As research officer, I had several other supply types, uh, radio man and electronics technician. My total complement was 195 out of the crew of 295. The other 100 people on board the ship were the ship drivers who did a superb job. Unfortunately, there were so few of them, I volunteered my officers to stand deck watch with them. We learned how to control the, sh the ship as well. During the attack, uh, I was blessed with a, a temporary bulkhead that wrapped itself around me and covered me with a 30-year supply of burnt Navy paint. But other than losing a couple of eardrums, I, I, was, I was blessed. Virtually everybody within 20, 25 feet of me was killed instantly. After I was brought up on deck, the next day the helicopters came to carry us to the America. I was wrapped from head to toe, put in a basket, and hauled into the helicopter. And being totally covered, the crewman, the corpsman that was taking care of me, didn't know which end was up, and he sat on my face the entire trip. And all I could think of was what an ignominious way to die after having survived the torpedo. I was blue when they took me out, but I, I, I made it work. After they lanced my eyelids open so I could see, I was ordered to report to Rear Admiral Geis, who is the carrier division commander for the Saratoga and the American. He apparently had pangs of conscience for having had to do what he was ordered to do. And he told me he wanted somebody to know what had really happened, but that he swore me to secrecy for the duration of his life. What he told me was that he launched aircraft to come to our defense, and Robert McNamara recalled it. We were in a nuclear weapons drill at the time, and he thought some idiot in Washington suspected that he had launched nuclear weapons to come to the assistance of the Americans. So he reconfigured a flight of aircraft that were incapable of carrying nuclear weapons, and he relaunched it, and again notified via Criticom the White House and McNamara. And McNamara again ordered the aircraft recalled. Admiral Geis challenged the order. He said the Americans are being killed and we need to go to their assistance. At that point, Lyndon Johnson came on the line. He said, I don't give a damn if the ship sinks and all the Americans are killed. I will not embarrass my allies. Well, that was three hours before he's notified who the allies were. 